So the big question is this. Trump's golfing deal yesterday was unannounced. It was unplanned. It was just a spur of the, spur of the moment thing. So how could a shooter know, right, that he was out there? And this is simply resolved as it is told in the Bible. That the one that betrayed Jesus was one of his own disciples, and he knew it, right? And the same shit has been going on through the history of man. That there is somebody on the inside of the organization that is privy to some information that is with Donald Trump, and that person is the Judas, right? And much like what happened in the latter part of the Bible, when Jesus realized what he'd done and he ran up on a tree and hung himself, that is exactly what needs to happen to everybody that commits treason in the United States government. That they should be hung until their guts, their guts bust forward. Uh, we'll even give them a field name. We would call it traitor instead of potter, right? But that is the deal. That's what's happening. It is not no, it is so clear to everybody in America besides I guess Donald Trump, that the people that you are interacting with want to kill you, bro, and we love you. So you might want to re-polygraph everybody, for real, if you get this message. I would start there. Today, drug test, bank account analysis, and polygraph for every motherfucker around me. I'll tell you another thing that had the inside job. It's right here. Check this out. that the ABC News whistleblower filed an affidavit the day before the debate stating that Kamala Harris was privy to every question and spoken to the moderators and that there was special there was special light given to her by the moderators under get this under the penalty of perjury they signed it the day before the debate it is a major scandal it is obviously what we knew all along listen no longer are the conspiracy theories fucking theories they're reality right and they go as far as you want to carry it because we have been under some type of fucking control and if there's been one good thing that's come out of the internet other than business tools it's the fact that you at least can say that you did not have the opportunity to know the truth you might not have agreed with it Hallelujah. You might want her to believe different. Hallelujah. But that still don't make it ain't fucking true, man. Yeah. That is election interference. That is treason. That's what that is. On all three parties. Kamala and the two moderators. And they should be hung too. Hallelujah. We can get busy. As far as I know, there's American companies still making rope. Yeah. Made in America. Hung in America. For all these people that want to derail the common, and believe me, there is a lot of good Americans. Don't get that messed up. Don't let that, there is a lot of good fucking dick swinging, red blood pumping, fucking common, blue collar, upper level lower, family no family, black, white, green, and blue Americans that want what's best for this nation. And we're fed the fuck up, right? Because we got children and grandchildren that must go behind what we allowed to happen. And the shit is over, all right? Donald, Polygraph, ABC, ABC News, piece of shit. And it turns out Taylor Swift's losing millions. Hallelujah, fluent English.